It's a day. It is the day. Good morning, everybody. It's a day. It is the day. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. The day that I am going to be rehearsing for my Barbie performance for the We Hope Pride Parade. I cannot believe it. Oh my gosh, literally, I have so much adrenaline going through my body right now, even though I'm kind of tired and my feet kind of hurt. I don't care because this is going to be incredible. At 12, I'm going to go to Hollywood Dance Center and I have five hours of rehearsal. So pretty intense because I will say that most of the time when I do any type of skate performances they're called atmospheric skating so you don't necessarily have like a very set choreography or routine um, but this time we will also I'm not allowed to wear my own skates which is an artistic pair of skates which gives me more power to spin and to jump and use my toe stop for steps and then tonight, after I actually finish skating, I am dyeing my hair even lighter. Although I love, 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 love this color, it's not very Barbie. And that's the look we're going for. So hopefully my hair will not fall off my head. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But in any case, I'm excited. Um, my outfit, by the way, my skirt is from Amazon. And my top is from Buff Bunny Collection. It won't be easy. So loves, this is a quick little interruption or intermezzo because I just received a very exciting box that got delivered on my doorstep and I actually thought it would arrive tomorrow or later this week but the shipping was so fast that I already received it today. So this part of the video is kindly sponsored by Lil Mattress. And if you guys are not familiar with the brand, Lil is an amazing mattress brand and I actually have been sleeping on a Lil mattress ever since I moved to LA. So the mattress behind me is also from Lil and I've been sleeping on this for three and a half years now, time flies. And today I'm working with them again and I'm actually upgrading my mattress to their new Lux hybrid mattress. I can't believe that this mattress is almost as tall as I am. So this mattress right here is the original mattress and I will say this, I've had so many amazing night sleeps on this mattress. It's honestly the perfect combination between firm and soft at the same time like it's not too firm it's not too soft i literally feel like i sleep on a cloud and it's also so convenient that it just ships to your doorstep to your apartment and you just open it up and that's it and lil also offers a 365 night stress-free trial free shipping and easy returns and a lifetime warranty so if you want to get one of their premium memory foam mattresses you can use my link in the description box for 700 dollars off your lil mattress and i promise you it's going to transform your sleep like it did for me i'm honestly so excited to upgrade this mattress because not gonna lie, I do feel like a mattress feels like a fresh start, emotionally, mentally, and yeah, that's what I'm just going to say about that. I don't want to get into the details, but um, yeah, having a new mattress almost feels like a fresh, clean slate, um, and I'm happy that, you know, past relationships are not tight to that anymore. Oh my gosh, that just got really awkward real quick, but I'm sure you guys understand. So yeah, I'm going to say goodbye to this amazing little mattress and get an even better brand new mattress instead. The difference between the original low mattress I have and the new Lux hybrid mattress is the fact that it has six layers rather than three layers, that it also has springs, and that it's 13 inch in height rather than 10 inch in height. 
So thank you so much Lil for sponsoring today's video and definitely check out the description box down below, the link in the description box down below if you want to get an upgrade um, on your sleep as well um, because I'm telling you this mattress is like literally the most comfortable thing ever and everyone that has ever slept in my bed always says the same that they sleep so well in there um, and it literally feels like a cloud so I would 100% recommend and now it's time to go on with the rest of the day. She is ready to go. Oh my gosh, it's Barbie time. Love it. Finally cleaned everything. <laughs> Good morning, my loves. Today it is Saturday, and it is the last day of rehearsals before the WeHo Pride and my performance on the Barbie floats. Uh, I just paused my vacuum cleaner real quick because I have barely time to clean my home. So having a little helper that does it when I'm gone or almost gone is so, so efficient. But I wanted to say that first of all, yesterday I ended up going to the hairdressers again and lightening my hair and it was kind of a fail, not gonna lie. Um, my hair color, I feel like it looks pretty much the same, uh, maybe slightly more orangey, <laughs> so slightly less good. And my hair feels really, really damaged, so I'm kind of regretting it. I honestly should have left it um, how I did it a few days ago. And it wasn't my hairdresser's fault either. She really did her best, but now I'm a little, little nervous. Um, yeah, I just blow dried it, so that's why it's not even looking that amazing right now. But that's just because we were dying it till so late at night. I came home at like 12 midnight. Um, and yeah, I didn't want to style it and um, tomorrow for Barbie they're going to style our hair So I'm like, okay, I'm sure they're gonna do so much heat damage on it and hairspray that might as well like kind of let it chill today But I don't hate it or anything. I still think it's a pretty color But it's pretty much the same color as before and I did have to bleach it and tone it a few times again So yeah, I can really tell that my hair is breaking and not feeling 
its normal self and I know you can't really repair damaged hair so hopefully just with time and oil treatments I can kind of at least smooth out the hair texture but ah, I'm, I'm a little a, a little sad about it not gonna lie um, so if you guys have any tips let me know um, yeah I've ruined my hair once and I had to cut it short and I hated it so much so I'm definitely not planning on ever cutting it short again so hopefully um, I'm not gonna touch it I'm not gonna tone it at home anymore I'm just gonna let it grow out naturally um, and hopefully it will heal so anyways I spent the morning practicing for my routine now I have to get going because the re rehearsal time is almost starting I need to call my uber actually right now and I'm wearing all pink um, if you guys watched my previous vlog I think you saw me buy this this is a whole outfit from addicted very very barbie but i feel like it goes perfectly obviously with the vibe so yeah let me call uber real quick and then it's time for another day of rehearsals <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just got more Barbie PR. This is the Barbie and Tangle Teaser collab. He also sent me this one. And this scalp exfoliating, uh, exfoliator and massager. So cool. Time for some yummy vegan truffle pasta and it's pink, so cute. And I'm watching a new show. This is The Servant on Apple Plus and having a nice little drink from Recess. This is the Grapefruit Paloma Zero Alcohol cocktail mocktail and it's really really good really like this one actually ah <sighs> and just having some unwinding time hello guys as you can see i am back home again ah <sighs> and the rehearsals went very well i'm really happy with how i'm doing especially because it's like my first gig that's very choreographed if that makes sense and um yeah i i'm happy with all the work that i put in i think it's gonna look so good <sighs> my feet are super super tired and our call time tomorrow is 7 a.m so i'm just going to relax for a little bit eat watch some tv and then go take a shower and go to bed because your girl is really tired but so excited for Barbie good morning it is D-Day let's get out of here Watch me Good morning guys, it is D-Day. As you can see, my makeup is already done. We're gonna add a little bit more glitter to it and the lips, but I was just eating. We're at the Andas Hotel in West Hollywood. It's really beautiful and cool here. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm a little nervous, but it could also be the coffee. <laughs> I think the coffee was a little bit too strong for me, um, but I can't wait. I'm wearing this 
all pink Barbie outfit uh, because I might stay a little longer after. Although I didn't bring my skates, my actual own skates. So yeah, gonna see how it's gonna go. But now I'm going to look for the bathroom because I don't know where it is. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel like Barbie! Yeah. I literally feel like Barbie. Um, and then in a little bit we're gonna do it for real and it's unfortunately not sunny but it's actually better because these things are so hot and I'm just so excited <laughs> tried for three days and are so different from my regular inlines but I'm doing it because it takes so long to take a fucking uber oh my god I'm so proud of myself okay bye so my loves this is Lilia from the future I'm filming this intro much much later than the end of my Barbie performance but I wanted to have a final conclusion uh, of this vlog together because wow what an amazing experience I had skating for the Barbie float for the WeHo Pride Parade I know I'm a little late with this vlog but it is right on time for the Barbie movie release date because it's actually coming out this week and I'm going to see it on Thursday um, and I definitely just feel incredibly grateful uh, for having this experience, for being part of this and um, yeah, I'm super excited for the movie. I also wanted to say, before I'm going to end this vlog, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on the content that you can expect from me. So the next vlog that you can expect is going to be my US Southwest regional championship uh, recap and that vlog is quite eventful if you guys follow me on my instagram my username is lilylike.com you already know what happened to me but if not then definitely subscribe so you won't miss it 
Also follow me on my TikTok, which is Lilia Kazakova. Anyways, with that being said, I'm going to end this vlog right here. I love you all lots and talk to you very soon. Bye!